Hey everybody, Steven here. Today I'm going to do a video on how to do a warm up with a PVC pipe. <clears throat> now, these are super cheap. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store. Uh, I believe mine is an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. And these come in 10 foot length um, deals and they'll cut it for you right there. They'll cut it in half. And these are like a buck fifty, two bucks. So it's a great tool to get. I mean, for two bucks you can get two of these. Um, and it's just a great tool to use, not only for your warm up, but I'll use them um, when I'm trying to teach certain movement skills, overhead squats, proper squats, stuff like that. Also, so just a very versatile thing that you can use. So, first thing that we're gonna start with, with once you actually have this, we're gonna do shoulder dislocators, okay? So we're gonna start with the upper body and then we'll go down. Now with this, I want a wide stance here. It's actually touching my stomach here. I'm gonna roll it back and then it'll actually touch my back. And I'm just gonna go back and forth like this. If you're having a hard time with this, typically what I see is that people have their arms too close. So they go here and they can't go back further. You need to go wider with your hands, okay? And as somebody who's dislocated actually both of their shoulders, not uh, fond of the name, but uh, that's what it's most commonly called, or, or shoulder dislocators, okay? Now for all of this, my recommendation is that you just do about 10. So we'd go back and forth 10 times. I'm gonna do a little bit shorter with that, that way you're not just sitting here watching me do that the whole time. Next, you're gonna do what I call around the world. So we're actually gonna reach out. I come back, when I come to the back, I actually touch my back here, and then I reach out this way and stretch and then come forward. With this, I wanna stretch out. I don't wanna see my elbows bent, okay? My arms are straight, stretching out. The only part that's actually gonna be touched is my lower back here, and when I come around, it might touch my stomach, okay? So you'll go one direction for 10. And to me, this kind of looks like, almost at least in the front, it's like you're rowing, um, and you're doing paddles for a, a canoe or something like that. 10 one direction, and then you're gonna go the other direction for 10. Okay? Remember stretching and reaching out from your body. That way we're putting the shoulder in various positions. As you can see with my arm, it moves. Okay? And then I'm stretching my obliques and my lats and stuff like that. Alright, after that you're going to put this on your back. <clears throat> we're going to square our feet up. And I don't want my hips to move with this just yet. We're going to do rotation where we actually let the hips move. But for this one we don't want to do that. So as I push, Essentially, I'm rotating towards one side. Right now, my left hand, you see my finger, it's the arm that's in front. I'm pushing this this way, okay? I'm pushing that way, and then my back arm, I'm keeping relaxed so that as I come this way, I'm actually getting the pec stretch with this back arm, and I'm activating my other arm and pec. And then I'll go to the other side. And I push this way, and this back arm relaxes, so I stretch, and then I'm active with the front arm. And then I'll go back and forth like this. And usually I'll do a momentary pause. Something like this, I want to make sure that I'm actually going to do 10 per side. If I was going to count these together, it would be 20 total, right? Back and forth, just like that. So active with the front arm, passive and stretchy with the back. After that, we're actually going to do a twist, but we're going to rotate. And when I do that, I'm going to rotate essentially off my back foot or the leg that would be behind me. So as I rotate this way, Right? My back foot, this one right here, has rotated. And then I'm going to go to the other side, here. And then this back foot rotates. And then I'll go back and forth. Just like this. Now with this, my arms are here. They're just relaxed. They're just hanging out. <clears throat> I'm going to feel this in my hips. I'm going to feel this in my trunk, my, my uh, stomach, my abdomen. And then I'm going to feel this actually in my arms as I push with this twist, right? I push my arms that way, okay? So I'm getting that same stretch with the pec that I was getting with the previous stretch. And this is actually one of the skills that we'll do in move now with our rotation and learning how to rotate off that back foot, okay? I don't want that stiff and rigid. I want to make sure that I can actually loose and relax and rotate like that, okay? And that would be the same thing where I would rotate and I would do 10 per side, okay? After that, you're just going to put this on the ground like this. And I'm going to kind of almost tripod it here, but the inside leg is the one I want to use. And what we're going to do right now is leg swings. So I'm here, and this is a dynamic stretch, right? We're stretching with movement. I'm just doing my leg swings, okay? From the side, here, just kicking up. 
And what I want to do is slowly progress into going higher and higher with my legs. So I might start down here nice and easy, and then as I start to do this, each rep I try to go a little bit higher. Because I'm going to feel, as I kick up, I'll feel the hamstring, and as I go back, I'll feel my quad, upper part of my quad, my TFL area here, and it can go all the way up into my psoas and my abdomen here, okay? So, you'll do 10 per side with this. Make sure you're building into it, right? And then you just switch and you do the other leg. You'll actually see my arm rotate with this a little bit. I like to, personally, instead of just holding it stiff, right? I'll rotate a little bit, which actually helps me stay... Me personally stay a little bit more balanced. So with that, you don't have to be super rigid and holding it straight like this. <clears throat> you can do side swings as well, where I'll place this here in front of my body, and I'll lean forward a little bit so that I have the movement. Because if I'm upright, I can't. I'll kick my leg, right? Here, I'll swoop in and out. Just like that. With this, some people rotate more, so they'll actually swing through and then come up. I say it's your preference. I usually get a little bit of movement, a little bit of twisting, but not much with it, okay? So with this one, it's the same thing, slowly build into it. <clears throat> and then you're actually just gonna do your 10 per side. And one of the cool things with this, especially when we're doing something where we're one leg like this, it's also working on the stabilization and your balance with your ankle, right? Because I have to essentially pivot and, and hold my body up with this foot that's on the ground. So, for some people, they might notice that they are off balance. You just need to work on the stability with your ankles a little bit more and put yourself in situations where you're required to use your balance more. After that, put this on your back again. You're going to do a basic squat, okay? So, just up and down. Make sure that you're hinging your hips, meaning that I'm actually pushing my hips back and then bringing them up. I usually just relax my arms over this, okay? <clears throat> You'll do 10 of these squeezing my, my butt at the top, okay? So push my hips back, up, squeeze my glutes at the top, all right? <clears throat> After that, you're gonna do prisoner good mornings, or they're not prisoner, they're just regular good mornings. Uh, prisoner would be with my hands back behind my head. This would just actually be categorized as just regular good morning. Feet squared up and straight. This is on your back, and all you're gonna do is bow forward, okay? I'm gonna bow like this, keeping my back flat and then I'll pull up, squeezing my glutes. You're gonna feel the stretch in your hamstrings. So from the side here, bowing forward, and then coming up and squeezing my glutes. So with this, I wanna make sure that my back is flat the whole time. You wanna create intra-abdominal pressure, meaning deep belly breath here. So you have internal support for your spine, okay? So deep breath in, hold it, bow, and then come up. I don't lock my legs. You notice I have a slight bend in my legs. I don't lock them back. But I'm also not squatting like this, okay? A little bit of a bend to keep the pressure off the knees. Bow forward. And then pull up like that. I don't want to see where we're rounding. When you round like that, you're putting all the pressure on your spine. It's not good, right? We're not utilizing our hamstrings, our glutes, and our erectors to actually hold that. You're putting more pressure on your, your actual spine. So that would be 10 as well. And then the last one I'm going to finish with is upper body, but it's kind of obliques and it's lower obliques, so we're kind of getting down here. This one's going to look a little weird, but we're going to put it on the back here. I'm going to square up, and I, I don't want it on top of my traps. I actually want it back a little bit, okay? So I want it here and not up like this, okay? Now once I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down with one arm, and this arm just is relaxed. It gets pulled up and then it stretches up. As I do that, I can actually tilt a little bit with it. I want to keep my head straight, I don't want to tilt my head with it. And I'll actually feel stretching down here in my lower obliques, and it'll actually go into my hips a little bit also. This arm is also getting stretched because it's passive. It's getting pulled, and then we'll go to that other side. Right, down, getting that stretch, stretching through the ribs and the lats also. Good, and I would go back and forth like this. Same thing. 10 per side, okay? And that is it. You can do this in four to five minutes tops. It doesn't take that long. It's gonna be a total body warm up for you to do. And all you need is this five foot PVC pipe, all right? I hope that helps you guys with your warm up. A lot of people skip their warm up. You don't wanna do that. You wanna ease your body into lifting the weights and doing your strength training or whatever training style that you're doing. So make this a priority before you just go in there and start moving stuff around and lifting, okay? 
If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be pumping more of these videos out for you, covering warm-up stuff, nutrition, all of that. So look forward to those, and I want to thank you for watching.